Let's get into the Miami Hurricanes baseball season preview. Last year, second place in the Coastal ACC with a 40 and 20 record, 20 and 10 in the ACC. Just a stellar year. Definitely not what they were looking for as once they got to the tournament they went one and two in the Coral Gables regional offensive production returning 67% of their at bats 70% of their hits 69% of their home runs 69% of their RBIs they've got a lot returning in terms of the bats 50% of their innings 45% of their starts and about 50% of their K's are going to be returning on the mound. Returning average, 300. That's elite. Returning ERA, 474. Not as solid. But, I mean, they're returning guys at the plate like CJ Capus, 366 average last year with eight homers. Johan Di Morales, who had a 329 average with 17 doubles and 18 home runs. Eduardo Villegas, 44 games started as a freshman. He's coming back. 306 average from Ariel Garcia with five homers in limited action, but he does strike out a lot. On the pitching side of same things, Carson Ligon, 15 starts as a freshman last year with 67 strikeouts in 75 innings. They also returned the best closer in the ACC, Andrew Walters, who had 14 saves on a 1.65 ERA this past year. So they're definitely looking at a solid team returning. Not much in terms of transfers except for a guy like Dario Gomez from Nevada, 350 average, 13 home runs. And Ian Faro from FGCU, 322 average with 21 home runs. Impact freshman, Caden Martin, number 67 in the class. He's definitely going to be a big guy for them. as they all. But they lose guys like Jacob Burke, Maxwell Romero, Carson Palmquist, Jake Garland, and Alex McFarland. So I definitely think they can have a solid year this year, but we'll see.